Welcome to John Greer Success Tips, where top real estate agents learn proven secrets for success. This episode is brought to you by John Greer of West One Capital Group, a trusted mortgage professional for his referral partners and their home buyer clients. Now, here's your success tip. Welcome to our new six-part video series titled Six Deadly Realtor Referral Mistakes That Kill Your Business Growth and Most Importantly, How to Avoid Them. In this new series, you're going to learn the secrets, the tactics, the strategies on how to explode your referrals and take your income to a whole new level. Realtor referral mistake number six is just meeting expectations. Have you ever left a voicemail for a client or potential referral partner only to find that they never called you back? Are you tired of being brushed off with the usual smokescreen objection that they already have a realtor? Do you ever feel like you're chasing after your clients or referral partners instead of having them chase after you? If you answered yes to any of those questions, rest assured you are not alone. Most realtors suffer the same frustration, and unfortunately, few ever find a way out. The rare few who do become the envy of the industry, enjoying an income and lifestyle most only dream about. So what's the big secret that allows top producers to quickly and easily win the hearts of their referral partners and attract all the referrals they can handle while the mediocre majority continues to be thwarted by resistance and apathy? The answer is simple. They enact the law of reciprocity. This law states that we should try to repay in kind what another person has provided us. In other words, if someone does us a favor, we naturally feel compelled to reciprocate with some favor in return. For example, Robert Caldini in his book Influence, The Psychology of Persuasion cites an experiment done by Professor Dennis Regan of Cornell University where two subjects are asked to rate the quality of some paintings. One of the raters named Joe was posing as a fellow subject but was actually Regan's assistant. The experiment was conducted under two different conditions. In some cases, Joe would ask to leave for a break and then come back with two cans of Coke, one for his fellow subject and the other for himself, stating, I asked him, the experimenter, if I could get myself a Coke and he said it was okay, so I bought one for you too. In the other cases, Joe just left for his break but returned empty-handed. Later on, when the experimenter left the room, Joe asked his subjects to do him a favor by buying some raffle tickets to win a new car. What was the result? In the cases where Joe had given the subject a free Coke, he had a 200% increase in raffle ticket sales. As you can see, when it comes to persuasion, the law of reciprocity can either make you or break you. If used properly, it can open the floodgates to your success. If neglected, it can keep you bound to mediocrity. You'd think that this is somewhat intuitive, yet rarely will you ever see a realtor send a client or referral partner a free gift like a nice pen, Starbucks card, movie tickets, box of brownies, gift basket, etc. in advance of their phone call asking for referrals. Instead, they simply pick up the phone and start making calls. No gift, no unique value proposition, no nothing. And then they wonder why they're not getting many referrals. The truth is, if all you're doing is asking for referrals without exceeding expectations, chances are you'll be coming up short on results. Top producers, on the other hand, understand that their clients and prospective referral partners don't give a rip about their superior experience and service. After all, isn't that what everybody says? They've come to terms with the fact that everyone is tuned into the same radio station, WIIFM, What's In It For Me. Therefore, they put aside their own needs and focus entirely on what matters most to their clients and referral partners. They ask questions to identify their constituents' aspirations, challenges, and frustrations. In many cases, just the mere fact that they ask these probing questions and actually listen sets them apart from the crowd as someone who really cares. Listening is a gift in and of itself. As the old saying goes, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. There are loads of ways you can exceed your clients and referral partners' expectations. All you need is creativity and a go-giver's attitude. Give your best, engineer your business to wow, and the law of reciprocity will take care of the rest. In closing, let me leave you with one of my favorite quotes from Zig Ziglar. You can have everything in life you want if you just give enough other people what they want. 
For more information on how we can help you grow your business, call us today. Thank you for tuning into this episode of John Greer Success Tips. If you have any questions or comments, please call John today at 844-846-6688. 